Good Monday afternoon. I'm Emily Matson. Thanks for choosing 12 News at 1230. A child is hospitalized after he was shot in a drive-by shooting overnight. It happened as the child stood outside just before midnight. 12 News' Mara Sirianni has been following this story overnight. She's joining us live this afternoon from the Erie Police Department with the very latest on the investigation. Mara. Hi, Emily. Well, as of this afternoon, police only have the boy's side of the story. He told them he was walking with his 17-year-old brother and some friends when someone shot, fired about four or five shots in their direction. Now, it happened around 1130 last night on the corner of East 25th and Wallace Streets on Erie's east side. The boy told police he was taking a walk with his brother and some friends when someone in a passing car fired the shots. One of the bullets hit the boy in the arm. Police say he then walked home before his mother brought him to the hospital. He's since been treated and released. Police found shell casings in the area, and they say the vehicle involved is a tan sedan. No suspects in custody at this time, though. As for the city curfew and why a 12-year-old boy being out uh, so close uh, was out so close to midnight, Police Chief Randy, uh, Chief Randy Bowers says there is no violation there. During the school year, they have to be in by 10 p.m. But on weekends and during summer vacation, they're not in violation until after midnight. So this was a half hour before curfew. And Chief Bauer says detectives are working on the case. If anyone uh, in the neighborhood saw or heard anything last night, you're asked to call Erie Police. Emily. Our Erie police have identified a suspect this afternoon wanted for Erie County's third bank robbery in just a week. Today, Erie police released a picture to 12 News. He's 30-year-old Angel LeBron. He's described as a Hispanic male, 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing about 150 pounds. There he is there. He's wanted in connection to Friday's robbery at the Erie Federal Credit Union on Buffalo Road. According to police, LeBron held up the credit union around 5 o'clock Friday evening. He reportedly had a gun during that robbery attempt. Police have located a blue Mercury Grand Marquis that was seen leaving the scene of the, that credit union robbery. They found it about six blocks away from the robbery. If you have any information, you're asked to call Erie Police. An Erie man is facing charges this afternoon after a weekend standoff with police. This all started with a call for a domestic dispute around 6 o'clock Saturday night. Happened at a home near 41st, East 41st and Fargo Streets. That's in the city of Erie. Police were told that the man involved, 21-year-old James Bigley, was armed. Erie police and the SWAT team surrounded the home and blocked off the area as they tried to make the arrest. Eventually, they had found out that he left the area before officers got there. They ended up arresting Bigley Sunday morning. He's now facing charges of domestic abuse. He's in the Erie County Prison this afternoon with his bond set at $100,000. The search for a cause continues this afternoon after a weekend fire at a vacant scrap iron warehouse in the city. It happened around 5 o'clock Saturday afternoon at the former Max Silver and Sons facility at 15th and Myrtle Streets. When crews got there, they found smoke and flames pouring out of the building. It took about 15 minutes to get it under control. Fortunately, nobody was hurt. State police are investigating the area's second deadly motorcycle crash over the war on the shore weekend. This one happened on Interstate 90 between the Albion and Cherry Hill exits in western Erie County. It happened around 10.30 Sunday morning. Police say 55-year-old Michael Bradley of Akron, New York, lost control of his Harley and crashed. Investigators say he only suffered minor injuries in the crash, but his wife, 42-year-old Wendy Bradley, who was a passenger on the bike, was pronounced dead at the scene. No word from police on why the crash happened. Troopers say they were both wearing their helmets. That's the third reported motorcycle accident in our area over the Roar on the Shore weekend. Two of them, unfortunately, were fatal. 66-year-old William Stabling, senior of Erie, died after an accident Thursday night at East 38th and Lake Pleasant Road in Erie. In that accident, Erie police say a car turned into the path of the motorcycle. I mean, it's sad. People need to watch out. There's, you know, people know that it's raw on the shore. They need to be more careful. They need to look, watch out for motorcycles. Organizers of the 8th Annual War on the Shore estimate the event brought more than 100,000 people to the area. It wrapped up Sunday with the annual Blessing of the Bikes video you're seeing here. It happened at the Presque Isle Downs in Casino. Members of the Christian Motorcycle Association blessed more than 80 bikes before drivers hit the road. So certainly 
a little bit of a rainy weekend for this weekend, That's event, right. but not uh, too bad. That's right. They definitely dealt with the rain early on Saturday, but went over there in the evening. It was absolutely beautiful. Perfect. And uh, today, well, a little hot out there already. Temperatures quickly warming into the mid to upper 70s at this time. Cool spot. Jamestown, 73 degrees. Everywhere else from 75 to as warm as 79. And uh, taking a look at the humid or the dew points, I should say, they are in the low to mid 60s. So where does that fall in that dew point feeling range? Well, right now it's in the getting sticky range and getting very close to that uncomfortable range. We'll get into that point as we get into tomorrow. But as far as right now goes outside, pretty quiet weather-wise. Lots of sunshine shine warm and muggy out there temperatures quickly rising over the next 24 hours and through the night well uh, once we get to about one o'clock I guess I should say uh, 79 degrees clear skies to start off the afternoon muggy though to go along with all that sunshine at six o'clock this evening temperatures still about 80 degrees so mostly sunny and a warm start to the night and at 11 o'clock tonight skies will stay mostly clear starry skies still muggy temperatures only dropping to 74 degrees Tomorrow is going to be even hotter, and we'll show you that with first warning feature track in the 7-day forecast. Lines across the nation today, a crane today moved pieces of the Malaysia Airlines plane that crashed in eastern Ukraine. Emergency workers continue to retrieve bodies from the wreckage. Ukraine's prime minister said the bodies of the 272 of the 298 people on board that plane have been recovered. The UN Security Council is expected to vote today on an Australian proposed resolution demanding international access to the site and a ceasefire around the area. Ukraine's Prime Minister also reiterated today that those responsible for the plane crash would be held accountable. Malaysia Airlines flight MH17 was on its way from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur when it went down. At this point, it's still unclear on exactly what caused the plane to go down or who might be responsible. Another violent weekend in Chicago. Four people died, including this 11-year-old girl who was shot by a stray bullet. Shamaya Adams was at a sleepover with six other children Friday night when a bullet came through a bedroom window. She was struck in the head and taken to the hospital in critical condition where she died early Saturday. Shamaya Adams is the second child shot in the neighborhood on Friday. Eighteen other people were shot in Chicago that night. 105 years old. She's got the old school windup. Yeah, she's cranking it up. It goes underhand, and what a great years old. Agnes years McGee old became the oldest person to ever throw out a ceremonial first pitch. She did so at the San Diego Padres game yesterday and didn't do too bad. And get this, when Agnes McGee was born, Babe Ruth was only 14 years old, and the Padres were 60 years away from becoming a major league baseball team. Pretty good pitch. When we come right back, Julie Coates is going to